Okay, what's going on there, my Bass Cartel members? Today we bring to you a review from Lore Makers, Big Fat Baits Custom Lures, and they've been around for about two months, and they're from based out of uh, New Jersey, and you know we partnered up with them, and so I'm going to do a little review on them and hook these lures up to a couple hooks, jigs, or whatever, and try to get some action in the water. So you guys can see how they work and how they perform, and see it. And I'm I'm going to link the uh, going to link their website in the description there, post it on top of the screen so you guys can see. And go on there and check them out. And I'm gonna post their Instagram profile also in the description, so you guys can uh, see all the types of uh, lures they got. And I can say that they're um. Their lure designs are pretty different from other types of lures, and as you can see when I pull a couple of these out, that you'll be able to tell for yourself. Okay, so let's get into this. They sent us three different packs, two craws and one beaver style, and um, so I'm going to go ahead and open up the beaver first. This is a pretty big beaver. And I believe this one is kind of, I will say, close to watermelon red, green pumpkin red. It's kind of, kind of hard to tell. But the um, the colors that I'm showing you guys, like you won't see this on their site that they um they changed up their color pattern and it's just starting to get into um two -tone, two tone colors as you'll see in one of these uh the crawl patterns that I'm that I'm going to show you guys, but uh. This uh this nice size beaver is about you know what, let's get a actual measurement on it. Okay, let's see this beaver this is almost a six inch beaver. Which is crazy. It's almost six inches long. So pretty much five and three quarters inches long. And <clears throat> has these appendages right here. Of course it has its flaps and it's these appendages here. Somewhat ribbed action. And I can actually say that they're they're sturdy in that they're like firm, not like real soft has some stretch to it and they also linked up with um, I believe they're called Bass Dynasty as a scent so now like these aren't infused with a scent but they're they're based that you guys if you guys go on that website and order those those types of um, the new ones will have the scents from Bass Dynasty and there's a variety of scents from shad, crayfish squid clams like it's, it's a variety of uh scents that them, these guys use garlic and everything it's, it's a huge variety so right here you know this is the beaver beaver style uh let's see let's go on their website and actually see if um see what's the name of this style of beaver versus you know leaving you guys in a loop just saying oh there's a beaver And there's another one in the pack. It's a different color. This is a uh, like green pumpkin black flake, black fleck, whatever you guys want to call call it. Okay, pulling up the beats, and they call this the Lunka Buster. The Lunka Buster, which sells for five twenty five. Uh, let's see how many you get in the pack. Oh, you have the option to get cents, and it's four to a pack. They're they're saying four and a quarter, so maybe they made maybe they made it smaller. But as you guys can see, when I pulled out the the measuring, it, it almost measured out to six inches. So maybe they got it smaller, and their colors uh grasshopper, which is like a green. Like a watermelon green flake. 
Let's see. Watermelon green flake, and they have winter blue, which just seems like a blue, blue flake. Reaper seems like it's a uh, black with black and silver, with uh, red and silver flake, maybe white specks. I don't know, it's really hard to tell. Then they have night crawler, just seems like a reddish, darkish, reddish with black and silver flake. And watermelon brown. And they have this pearl, which is I'm highly interested in for um. Football spawning season for the bass when they when they have their bears up and it's just a pearl color with black flakes and then they have sand belly which it seems like um uh not obacholby what is that crawdad color ah I, I can tell you it seems so familiar come on put back I know bio spawn sort of similar has a color to that to the sand belly and Alabama craw this is pretty close to Alabama craw pretty close to it and you know what let me see scent yeah, all right. For bass diner, see they have crawdad, night crawler, threadfin, bluegill, stock trout, and double garlic. So, those are the bass diner scents that they have for these guys. And the website is bigfatbaits.myshopify.com. But like I said, I'm going to post that. And so let's put these away and get into the craw. Okay, this these craws. Kind of remind me of uh, watermelon red, but this this green is like real light. It's real light, and it's almost this is almost transparent. So I don't know how well it would do out there in you know murky water because this is pretty much transparent almost. Like let me see if I put some light behind it. Overall, I love the just the the thickness and the sturdiness of it. It almost feels like you have a gummy bear in your hand. And then of course the cross. They uh, they get thin, and then as it gets to the um, to the pincers, thickens up. So I'm pretty sure you know that give it that buoyancy when it's in the water. I'm actually going to rig one up and throw it in my fish tank. I'm gonna probably put one in a jig. And let's see, and they call that the crawdad. And they have the same colors as I've sounded off before for the um for that beaver style. Same same colors that they have for it. I really like the night crawler. Well then they have sandstone. So this, so they have a uh, a couple different extra colors. This is supposed to be watermelon brown, and I'm about to show you one that they don't have listed. And this is almost a pearlish pinkish color. If like you flip it over. Almost like a silverish pearlish color. You flip it to the other side, it's pinkish. This color isn't listed. I asked them like do they have a name or color for this? And they said you no, know, it was just something that they was playing around with. You no, know, it wasn't meant to you know be marketed or anything. It was just something they was just experiment with. But still feel the same. It's like you're playing with a gummy worm a gummy bear. You know. Has some has some stretch to it. And I don't have extras to play around with these because this is actually part of a giveaway that we did. And so I have a few extras of these that I got play with. I only have one of these for my personal use, but I have a couple of these that so I'm just going to rig up one. I'm just going to only play with one. And I have one of these to play with. And 
I will play with that. I don't know how I'm going to rig it up, but by the time I finish talking to you guys, uh, I will have some type of idea how I'm going to rig up this beaver style. But let me get a measurement. They're saying that the crawdad, which is selling for $4.99, and is an eight pack, and they're saying three and three quarters inches long. Let's get a little measurement on it. Uh. Yep, about that. So that's that's pretty on, pretty on point, and I'm liking that packaging. Pretty neat. Big fat baits, custom lures. And then, you know, you have the option of plucking these off if you want. You know? If you feel like it may be too long. The reason why I do like big soft plastics is because you feel like it might be too long. Bite it off. Get yourself some scissors or whatever. Trim up these. Make them a little smaller. And then you have yourself a, a smaller beaver style bait. You know, but let's uh let's go back to that site just so you guys can see what type of lures they have, type of soft plastics. So they have they call it a brush hog. They have that craw to craw dad. They also have a um, a flute type, which is a flute. And then they had a beaver style called the lunk up buster. And they have worms called shaky head worm. And I like this this lizard. Which they call the water dragon. I just like it. It's, it is totally different. I haven't seen no other company out there with this. I'm hoping to give you guys a good shot of it. It almost reminds me of a, um, a. I think it's a salamander. The gill salamander. A gill newt. I can't remember. But them things. They're like, like this big in the water. And they got the red gills coming from behind their neck. I don't remember if it's a salamander or a newt. I can't remember. Pretty sure one of you guys out there will know. And it seems like the, the tail already comes in this this S S action. But come on now, smaller. There we go. And those things are seven and a half inches long. So, all right, I'm about to wrap this up, and we're gonna go over to the fish tank get these rigged up and see what type of action they give off in the water all right okay as you guys can see I got this Texas rig So the claws do float. And if I can get it, I don't know if you guys will be able to pick up on it, but they do have swimming action, they kick. It actually does have a nice color in the water. Alright you guys. Came back. Throw it on the jig. This is a new tech jig. 3 8 7 ounce.
Stands up. Claws go in the air. Claws go in the air. My claws start pointing up. All right. Overall, I do overall I do believe that these guys make some good soft plastics. As you can see, the tilapia, called a buttercorfer tilapia, horned tilapia, zebra tilapia, is a tilapia species. Very aggressive fish. You can see it's pretty interesting when it was going on. As you can see this beaver style, I got it on there with no weight. But it's very buoyant. Almost looks like a a body in the water. Bass a lot is. I don't know if you guys did pick up on that vibration that it did when it dropped down to the bottom. Just like as soon as it hit the bottom, the whole thing vibrated. Yeah, so I can honestly say a bass for a lot of this. And I actually got a um a swinging football head. Or a football jet made by VMC. Is it VMC? Yeah, made by VMC. I actually had, and I had some made by Owner. This thing would work perfect on there just to be able to swing around on its own without having the weight restricted. And we got Tilapia again being curious. Highly aggressive fish. You probably see my little convict. I'm not supposed to be on that side. He can fit between the divider. But it'll run back to the other side when this feels too threatened. So bass see this on the slow fall and give it a little twitch. Go, give it that reaction strike twitch. Gobble gobble. I might throw this, throw this around weightless, maybe. So that's gonna wrap this up for this uh, review guys. But once again this come from Big Fat Baits. Like I said, I'm gonna post the um, the site in the description and I'm gonna post up their Instagram. Go on there and check them out guys, you know. I I think they made some good durable baits. And what do you do? And once again, this is a Bass Cartel Lord review. This is the first one. Hopefully there are many more to come.